Yep, it's just the coordinates is what we're going to end up doing now. So go ahead and copy down the coordinates so you have them off of here because we're going to do area by coordinate. So just the northing and easting. So we're going to figure out area here by the coordinate method. We've already done it by the triangle method and by the double meridian distance method or DMD method. So once everybody has coordinates written down, let me know. Okay, can I move on? Good to go, James? Okay. Everybody can see that. I tried zooming in enough so it was readable. Hopefully it's readable. All right. So I'll give you this nice little spreadsheet here. So the first thing we're going to do is populate the point numbers of um, the control points or the, the traverse points that we have. So we know that we have two, three, and four. Okay, but we have to go back on top of ourselves, so we have to re put in the number two again. So we're going around our traverse, two, three, four, and then back to two. Okay, so we have to put in two again. There. All right. So then we can just populate the northing and easting all the way down the sides. So our northing was 100 at number two the easting was 1000 at two at number three it's 452.86 and 1153.35.4 189.81 and point the easting for four, fourteen forty two point six two. And then for number two, we just go ahead and write the same thing again. Okay? Well, as easy as that. So we didn't have to do the, the change in the latitude or the change in departure. We didn't really have to do that. So we cut out a step already from the DMD. So now we have to populate this information over here, the double area. Okay. So what we're going to do is we start with the point that comes after the first point, and we multiply up. Okay. So we times or we take and multiply these two numbers. This is one thousand. These two numbers, and we put that in the negative column, okay? So whatever that number comes up to be, I need someone to shout out what it is. I'm not... 452.860.00, okay? Then we do it again. Go to the preceding one, or the not preceding one. The next point number in the line, we go we have times the easting, or the northing of four, times the easting of three. We're going to put it in the same column. And that's what? 27, 38, 23.70. 27, or 273.823.70. So you're going 189.81 times 
218. What was that number again? 218, 917.36. 917.36. Okay. So we're going to do it again <coughs> right here. So we go from the northing of 2 to the easting of 4. And what does that come out to be? Point zero zero. All right. So now, in order to get the the double area and the pluses column, we have to take the um, <coughs> northing of the first times the easting of the second point. Okay. Northing of the first times the easting of the second. Copying it here. So that's eleven or one one five three three five point zero zero, right? All right. So then we're going to do it again. So we're going to take the northing of three times the northing of four, or the easting of four. Sorry, the easting of four. Northing of three times the easting of four, and whoever has that number, go ahead and shout it. Okay. And then the last one is uh, the northing of four times the easting of two. Is it 189-810.00? Okay. All right, so now we populated the double areas. So now we're going to take and uh, sum these up down each side and give that to me. And then we'll sum up the negative column. And you can shout that one out also. So you, as you can already see, this is so much simpler than the DM by area by DMD because you can use the straight coordinate. <coughs> so anybody have the sum of the pluses? Nine, five, eight, four, four, nine, point eight, five. nine five eight four four nine point eight nine. How about the sum of the minuses? Okay, so you probably already can guess what we're going to do with this. We're going to uh, take and add these together. So we're going to have 958449.89 plus a negative uh, 81603.9.36. Why did I call this a negative? Because it's in the negative column, right? So that's why this is a negative. So what do we get there? One four two four one zero. Point five three. Okay. And we take and uh, we'll take that and divide it by two. So one four two four one zero point five three divided by two. What does that equal? Seven one two zero five one eight two seven. Okay, and that's square feet. Okay, so this this here was double area. 
this is now single area. Okay. So now what's the uh, acreage then? So we take the 71205.27 and divide by 43560. That's going to give us what? 1.63 acres. Okay, pretty simple, right? That, that process is pretty quick. A lot quicker than the DMD method. Way quicker. Okay? That was pretty quick. A lot quicker than the triangle method, too. If you have coordinates, it's pretty simple to come up with an area really fast. Now the only time that this doesn't work real well is if you have a curve associated with it, but anytime you have straight lines, segments, you can find an area pretty easily by this method. So, all right. Is so everybody good there? Um, let's, uh, let's move on to the uh, four-sided figure that we had from the past couple days. Let's see if this one, if I had to zoom in or out. Doesn't look like it. All right, so go ahead and copy down. If you want to, you can start populating that sheet right away with your northings and eastings, starting at uh, point five. There you go. A little easier to see now. So we already solved the area on this. So, can you do um, can go ahead and just hope you all can see that, right? Much. Okay. If not, the behind you, the screen behind you too. <coughs> so once you have this all, the northings and eastings all copied down. We'll uh, move on and actually solve this one. Okay. All right. Let's populate this baby if you haven't done it already. So we're going to go point five, six, seven, eight, five. Okay. That's the numbers from the control or the points that were in our traverse. So the no northing at 5, 100.10, or 0 .00, and the easting is 2,000.00, northing at 6, 499.24, easting is 2085.03, northing at 7, 499.24, Easting is two four five three point seven six. Eights northing one hundred. The easting at eight two six two four point three six. And then we go back to number five again. We add that one in. All right. So what's my first step? Uh, I can start either way I can do. I can do the pluses or the minuses. So which <coughs> ones do you guys want to do first? You Mul keep consistent. Multiply the 100 times 2,085. Okay, we can do that. So we're going to populate the pluses column first. So we're going to go, so we're going to add it here. This is how we figure out the pluses column. Zero, eight, Five zero three point zero zero. Now, here's one thing to know about this. It doesn't really matter if I'm populating the double area with the northing in the plus column or the minus column, as long as I'm consistent. Okay. So I could, when I did this multiplication here, I could have put it over here. So as long as every time if I go down like this, I'm always putting in the same column. Okay? So it doesn't really matter which column you decide to put it in, just make sure you're consistent with the numbers you're putting in there. Okay? 
So if I go 6 to 7, northing is 6 to the easting is 7, what's that number? Zero one five. Okay. The next one. One million three hundred ten thousand one hundred eighty five. Point four nine. Okay. We have one more. Should be a pretty easy one. So it looks like two hundred thousand. Oh, I could unlock that. All right. So the next step, we, we populated the pluses column. Like I said, just as long as you're consistent. So if I, if I wanted to put these over here, it doesn't really matter because we drop the negative once we get to this square footage anyway. So, but the next step would be northing of six times the easting of five. What do we get there? Okay, then the um, northing of 7 times the easting of 6, anybody have that number? Okay. Go northing of eight to the easting of seven. Point zero zero. That was an easy one. I could do that one in my head. <laughs> okay. Next one. Okay, so we got the rest of them populated. So I went from five, northing of five, to easting of eight, and that gave me two six two four three six point zero zero. Okay, so we sum those up. Someone give me the pluses when they get it. Two one four three. Nine. Nine four two nine four three. Seven oh three. Okay. The negatives, some of the negatives. Point three eight. Okay. Looks taken uh, put these together. Negative uh, two five four seven two 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 point three eight. What do we get for an answer there? Three hundred ninety six. Four eighty one. Four eighty one. Two five. Okay, so that's the double area, right? So we want to make that. Divide it by two. And that should give us 198. 198. 240.63 square feet. Yep, sorry. Square feet. Okay. And we want to turn this into acreage. 
So we take four or 198, 240.63 divided by 43,560, and that's going to equal 4.55 acres. So if we look at it with the triangle formula, if I slide this in there real quick, we came up with the same thing, 4.55 acres. Now we're off by about one square foot if you look at them. So about one square foot that we're off is all that is. So does everybody gather that way, way easier to use the coordinate system? Yes? With the double meridian, uh, we were able to kind of check ourselves as we were going. With this way, is there a way or not really? You just kind of have to rule the There's not really a way to check yourself as you go. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's the nice thing about the double meridian. There's a couple of different ways you can check yourself. Yes? Uh, so whatever, so you take the northing and you multiply it by the easting. Whenever you do that, the result is your northing. If you're taking the point, the point that you're, say you're sitting on it, mm -hmm. then you take the point you're going to, it's the northing times the easting. Yeah. And then... When you flip it over, when you want to get the uh, the next difference, so it doesn't matter if you're populating the plus or the minus, just as long as you stick the same, right. you're going to take the 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 new point times the old, the previous point, essentially. So six, <coughs> you know. So you're always taking five or the previous northing times the next times the next easting. And then when you get done populating one of these columns, doesn't matter which one you populate, right. then you'll take the northing times the preceding easting. Mm -hmm. So okay. which one will get you your northing result? Your, those, that plus and minus. The plus and minus, it doesn't really matter which column you populate it in, just as long as you're consistent, like I said. So if I wanted to do these, mm -hmm. I could put it in this column if I wanted to, just as long as every time I multiply down, I'm consistent with whatever column I stick it in. Just yeah. stay in that column, mm -hmm. every one that we go down on. If I'm going up, multiplying up like this, I can pick a column just as long as every one that I multiply up like this, I stay in that column. Because we're taking one minus the other, you're going to get the same answer, whether this number is here, or, and that number is there, or vice versa. It doesn't really matter, you're still going to get the same result here. So, still a double area. We drop the sign here if it's a negative. Yeah. This com becomes a negative. You're dropping the sign anyway because at that point you're turning it into square feet. So, does everybody understand that? Okay. All right, so we got one more. So, we can really hit it home. So, we're going to get that big one that we worked on. So hopefully everybody can read those uh, northings and eastings, and you can go ahead and populate them right in, your, in the columns right away if you would like. Start at nine and end at nine. Remember that when you go put it in the columns. Well, just just for the uh, we'll do for the sketches a lot. Oh, really? 
Yeah. Uh, for instance, uh, a property survey or something like that, we're going to go out and uh, locate the property lines. We'll do a field sketch of the house, the driveway, any pertinent utilities. And that way they can just find all that and match it up. Cool. All right, so let's move on then, and we'll populate this one. So we go 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and back to 9. We just want to wrap around to that last point because we're closing our traverse if you can think of it that way. So 100, 3,000. Four seven three six nine, and I'm just populating these right from that sketch that I just had up there. Alright, so whenever someone wants to spit out some uh, some double areas for me, that'd be fantastic. So we'll go we'll go from the northing of nine to the easting of ten. Okay. <laughs> Say that again. Okay, next one. Two zero nine zero two eight six point nine three. One five nine zero three nine zero point six zero. And then the last one, pretty easy one. Five zero. Okay. So we, po we populated. Plus column. We could have put those in the negative column, it doesn't really matter. So Alright, so we're gonna go from the northing of ten to the easting of nine. And we're just gonna do that all the way down. Anybody have numbers for me? Okay. So we got all the negatives. Everybody following yet? Or ahead of me, that's fine. We've already done this quite often. So uh, give me the sum of the pluses. Some of the negatives. One. All right, so let's subtract those. Five, eight, seven, seven, three, six, four point zero seven or zero six. Sorry, minus five, five, seven, five, four, two point six one. What do we get there for the double area? Three zero one nine six one point four five. Okay. 
So I take that and three zero one nine six one point four five divided by two. And that equals one five zero nine eight zero point seven three. That's square feet. And let's turn that into an area. Divided by 43,560. And that equals 3.47 acres. 3.47 acres. Okay. And we gather how we went about that. And if I look back, we're off by three square feet from the uh, total for the triangle method. If we look, triangle method, we came up with 15983. And in this method, we came up with uh, 15981 if we round up. So we're off by two square feet. Not terrible. It's rounding in the math is all that is. So both are, both are acceptable. If you have a difference when you're doing your homework on these, if you're off by a couple square feet, no big deal. So, um, so there, you guys just completed three problems from area by coordinates, which is a lot simpler way of doing it. So if anybody wants me to leave this up here, I can leave it up here for a little bit if you want to copy or do anything like that. Um, I'll stop this.